Hi, I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. The Crucifixion of America All we like sheep have gone astray confesses our crucifixion from within. While neither global nor American first, domestic monsters seek to agitate the still tyrant voice within each of us. MAGA Republicans are increasing dissembling havoc, supporting a get-out-of-jail-free card for Trump Lifetime Criminal Achievement Award, using mesmerized minions, craving to be the welcome mat of a self-proclaimed shooter of someone on Fifth Avenue, while still guaranteeing his craven needs with malice aforethought to chisel American exceptionalism into his own image. While America has never been perfectly aligned with its legacy from what we put on parchment, proclaiming and claiming justice for all, since 6 January 2021, however, our house divided has become a rallying cry for fundraising, mind-bending, and vote-getting, and losing, for one of our two major political parties. As the climate we've changed raises our weather temperatures, so too we're raising our anger, hate, gnashing of teeth, and clenched fists, allowing corporatism's wolves to claw out America's heartland and infiltrate the Bible Belt with their hoopla of la merde spread lavishly throughout all of America, doping up the desperately frustrated into national suicide. Thus have we stepped into the danger zone of too close to recall, both America's promised land of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, and our planet's livable earth, water, and air, now also fired up to self-destruct. Still, he who claims he is the chosen one strides dangerously close to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, aided and abetted by superficially good people, Joe Manchin and RFK Jr., and bad people, Kevin McCarthy and Ron DeSantis, on both sides, reflecting each other's contest in stupid is as stupid does. Yet... Only the right side decries, by example, that their very survival depends on America's failure to deliver on the promises of our Constitution's Bill of Rights, emancipating Gettysburg Address and, arguably, most importantly, our 14th Amendment. Further, arguably, since August 1945, when American political military industrial complex harbingers killed between 129,000 and 226,000 people, most of whom were civilians, and then in April 2004, monkey see, money do from black gold, our Bush-Cheney administration having invaded an Iraq innocent only of 9-11 attacks on America, illustrating made in the USA resolve to use global campaign against terrorists impeding powerful American terrorists from gutting oil profits gluttony the true raison d'etre for axes of evil snake oil, repeatedly bombing Fallujah, causing, one, countless Iraqi civilian deaths for profit, two, increase in Al Jazeera's hate for all Americans, three, reincarnation of the ugly American through American war criminals G.W. and Tricky Dick, two, four, in the name of we, the American people, the Guantanamo Bay detention facility still operating as a remnant of the war on terror euphemism. 5. America's branding as practitioners of waterboarding and, akin to World War II Axis powers, torturing prisoners of war. Too often, America's historical MO stigmatizes our current events, including the anti-wisdom choice to abandon, discard, and replace experienced Americans with the latest fad, device, or artificial intelligence bull hockey from spewing bankrolled mouthpieces. The ever-increasing weight of the reactionary conservative third of Americans is antithetical to our national evolution and individual progression, because, refusing any accountability for the rape we've allowed filthy rich politicians and their filthy rich corporate puppeteers to reap from our country and planet, transforms us into a momentarily mum McConnell, and foul-fetid-fuming former figurehead Führer, 
instead of paralleling Maya Angelou and Tom Hanks, for example. All those centuries younger than most of the world, America and Americans are old enough to remember a nation ignorant of its history is doomed to repeat the folly of placing individual faith in our youthful assumed invincibility. When defined by those calculating quality time in Instagram followers, Facebook likes, or worse, how the neighborhood is changed. It's wise to ponder through the art of comedy, tragedy of loss, even the melodrama of transversing the comings and goings of inevitable emotional tides, diminishing some relationships, until ultimately, through the tears and laughter of satire, we glean the wisdom of learning from farcical aging. Then, living ever forward, we may outrun Father Time for a pace. In this our age of climate consequences, we need to expect to be called upon individually to emulate Irina Sendler, who was Warsaw's Schindler for infants and children. And remember James Waterman Weiss Jr.'s warning, when fascism comes to America, it will not be identified with any shirt, movement, nor with an insignia, but it will probably be wrapped up in the American flag and herald as a plea for liberty and preservation of the Constitution. Ah, an aha moment, perhaps? A big liar racially similar to those historically vulnerable to big lies infringing upon our commonality, perceived superiority, an American traitor preying on our economic inequality, affirmative action jealousy, and cultural fears of being replaced by diversity. Our ballot, our choice. I'm Marcello Rolando, the reasonable voice, and I know where my voice belongs. I wish the same for you. Thank you, and join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world.